1989. This is just the beginning. Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Where do we go from here? I'm on my own from now on. I'm on my own. I'm by myself from now on. I'm by myself. Oh, we can go wherever we want from here. We can go. Ders 199 Geleceğe bakma Ben ve Maria'nın Oxford'daki düğün davetinde Umberto Verdi yeni damadını bir kenara çeker. Ben, this is the happiest day of my life. To tell you the truth, I'm feeling pretty good myself. I'm a very proud man. I'm proud of Maria. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I've got a good son-in-law. I'm proud to have you as a father-in-law. Ben, Maria has always known what she wants, and I have great respect for her judgment. But she respects my judgment, too. And she knows what kind of son-in-law I need. I'm not going to live forever. Oh, look, Maria. Doesn't she look a beautiful? Yes. Everyone wants to talk to her. I can't get near her. You have the rest of your life for that. This is just the beginning. You and Maria have a great future ahead of you. Repetition. And now listen and repeat. Şimdi dinleyin ve tekrarlayın. Where do we go from here? What next? What's the next step? This is only the beginning. From now on. We're on our own. From now on we're on our own. On my own. On his own. By myself. By himself. Single-handed. Alone. From now on. You're in a position to do things by yourself. I'm proud of myself. So am I. They're proud of themselves. And rightly so. With a knowledge of languages... They'll be able to travel. They'll be able to get... An interesting job. They'll be able to get an interesting job. They're in a strong position... To do whatever they want. Practice. Exercise one. Amazing possibilities. Now, here's some advice. This is nearly the end of the course. Congratulations. You've nearly finished Oxford English. In 199 lessons, you've learned a lot. Just think about it. You can use English in all kinds of situations. You can speak on the telephone. You can go shopping. You can travel and do business. You can go to hotels and restaurants. Wherever you go, you can speak English. But although this is the end of the course, please don't let this be the end of your English studies. This is no time to stop. You can do a lot by yourself, and you can do a lot that's useful. You're in a position to build on what you know. Here are one or two suggestions. First of all, read. Read English newspapers, read English books, read English magazines. If you read, you will not only remember what you already know, but you will also improve your vocabulary. You will learn new words and new expressions, and you'll learn new ways of using the expressions that you already know. The second suggestion is this. Find a friend who is willing to speak English with you. Speak English with your friend at certain times. This way you will develop the habit of thinking in English, and so will your friend. Here's another suggestion. Find an English pen friend. If you do find a pen friend, you'll be able to practice writing in English. 
and of course it's also a good way of learning more about England. Do you ever meet English or American or Australian people? They all speak English, and there might be some in your area. If there are, talk to them whenever you meet them. You may be able to help them, and they can help you too. They can help you with your English. Finally, try to go to England. There's nothing like the real thing. Every moment will be an opportunity to learn and to practice. You'll be able to enjoy yourself in English. You'll also see a very old and beautiful country. And here now is the song. Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Where do we go from here? I'm on my own from now on. I'm on my own. I'm by myself from now on. I'm by myself. Oh, we can go wherever we want from here. We can go. And that's the end of lesson 199. Use dersin sonu. The progress quiz. This is the progress quiz. The progress quiz. That's what it is. Yes, it is. Ders 200. Ara sınavı, buraya kadarki dersleri gözden geçirip, neleri öğrenip, neleri öğrenmediğinizi ortaya çıkarmanızı sağlayacaktır. Exercise 2. Pronunciation. Yan yana olan sözcüklerden aynı ünlü seslileri daire içine alın. Liar. Buyer. Fire. Wine. Hire. Tire. Fried. Start, part, bath, arm, can't, lame, chain, grilled, field, each, wash, knob, robbed. Want. Row. Shout. Out. Year. Earn. Do. Fool. Grow. Coast. Spare. Wear. Hair, soap, though. Aunt, aunt, farm, drafts, grass, guard, cards. Cheat. Stuck, come, done, brush, none, moved. Cream, team, perks, work, screw, glue, view. Nail, shave, blade, arm, place, cope, 
phone. Exercise 9. Silent letters. Which are the silent letters in these words? Stop the tape to write. Although. Brought. Highly. Resign. Whole. Guess. Comb. Dumb. Knob. No. Sign. Guest. Wheel. Hourly. Answer. Through. Campaign. <laughs> Exercise 10. Earnings. Here's Miss Peters talking about her job and her earnings. I like my job very much. I enjoy it, and it's well paid. That always helps. I'm a computer programmer. I have to work hard, but computers fascinate me, so it doesn't feel like hard work. My salary is 16,000 a year. In addition, I get a travel allowance of 300 a year. I have to travel a lot in my job, so that's fair. I also get a productivity bonus of £1,300. You get the bonus for working overtime and finishing on time. It may seem like a lot, but I think I earn it. Uh, and don't forget, my tax is high. I'm not married, and single people have to pay top rates. Last year, I paid £6,700 in tax, and that's about average for my kind of income. Can you believe it? It really isn't very fair. Mm. And that's the end of the recorded part of the progress quiz. Lesson 200.